Hi everybody, this is Altavis from Emerge Garden Estate and if you're new to my channel, welcome. In today's video, I will be taking you all on my September home gardening tour for 2020-21. This is definitely a great video for beginner gardeners who been looking to get into gardening this year and also looking to garden hopefully for the 2022 gardening season my first planter i definitely want to share with you guys is my mosquito bug repellent planter as you can see i have some citronella i have some rosemary i have some tall lemongrass that definitely thrive this spring and summer great planter for a lot of people who don't like to be outdoors and get bitten by multiple multiple mosquitoes of course i live in zone 7b so we definitely were very appreciative of that bug bug repellent planter on to my left of the garden as you can see i have some hostas in the corner those type of plants are great for people who do not like to plant and they just thrive but right now i'm showing you my jalapeno pepper growing bag which did really good this season you might see the leaves look a little like raggedy but that's okay because um i had some bug spray that was trying to keep them down but as you can see the jalapeno peppers definitely have been doing their thing and they're growing and it's time for me definitely to harvest them which i will be doing shortly after i show you all what i was able to grow this year as you can also see there i have some beefsteak tomato plants growing and the tomatoes are thriving they're not yet fully ripened because as you know they have to turn red but they have been they're coming along as you can see guys i didn't do too much of um, my pruning this year i kind of wanted to let it kind of have a little urban jungle effect but i'm going to do a, a little bit of pruning but i just wanted the tomatoes to kind of just do their own thing since I was a little behind schedule when it came to me planting some of my you know vegetables this year but they've reached and the soil was great so they were just coming along now as you can see here I have these patio tomato uh, uh, plants that I have here and those patio tomatoes are great for people who live in small balcony areas and uh, you can also put those in a growing bag and they definitely will take off just give them a little bit of tender love and care some water some fertilizer and they definitely would you know they will definitely come into their full ripen stage i have some extra beefsteak tomatoes and then right here i have another eggplant that's growing in the corner here um, behind my containers uh, that one is still slower but because i put those out I put that eggplant out growing back later throughout the season, but they'll be coming along before uh, we definitely come to our fall in November. As you can see here, I have my multiple container that I've been doing for the past couple of years. Here are my collard greens that's growing in this 20 inch uh, container that actually did wonderfully this year. Once again, I just added my fertilizer, just water it, and make sure um, it thrives in the in the uh, in the sun. Right here, I have um, a symbol of carrots. I'm sorry, yeah, the carrots and some string beans that's growing under there. As you all might see, I may have a little trellis over that. That was for me to make sure I didn't have any little, you know, bugs or any type of rodents try to get in there but this year you know I must say the garden did wonderfully no one disturbed you know my vegetables especially nature so everyone played this course so I was proud to have that but I always had that extra security around you know my containers just in case I don't have any little you know bugs and other things taking place and eating up the vegetables right here is some cabbage and I have some spearmint some of you all know about companion planting and I am a avid fan of companion planting I always like to make sure I have at least one or two different herbs plants with my main crop that I'm growing per container just to make sure I can keep a balance and like I said you know the bugs love to come and chew up on your 
crops if they're growing strong. So I make sure I kind of have some type of deterrent to keep them away. So that is doing well as well. It's, it's, do, it's doing well. Right here in this container, I have some sweet potatoes. I'm hoping to have some abundance of sweet potatoes this coming um, holiday season for Thanksgiving and possibly for the holiday season and Christmas. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm just letting it take its course because right now they're not ready. Right here, this is an abundance of mint. I love to keep mint near all my crops because like I said, they are great bug repellents. As you can see here in the small growing bag, I did have some string beans, we've been eating them, so it's what's left right now, but I definitely recommend for people who have small gardening areas or balconies or somewhere they need to, they don't have a lot of garden space, definitely get your growing bag. Once again, I have some cabbage here in another growing bag. Look how pretty that, that cabbage looks. I don't want to eat it, but I will. <laughs> but I love how it just looks as far as a decorative look, but that's definitely will be eaten amongst the family. Now coming up to the back of the garden and the, the yard area is something that I was so pleased with this uh, summer is my sugar baby watermelons. As you all can see, these watermelons are thriving. I love them. They're not ready yet. I'm still trying to wait. They might be, but I'm just looking at them. They're a little, little bit small. Um, well, this is my first time doing these type of watermelons. So I, what I did to make sure once these the vines started to grow out, I had these little um, vegetable trays just to make sure that as the watermelons can tend, tend to like come to their full maturity, I didn't want them to have any rot at the bottom. So that's why I have those growing trays, the vegetable trays. I definitely recommend to any of my fellow gardeners out there, people looking to garden and then you want to have a crop such as that, just make sure you get your trays. And by the way, everyone knows that the uh, watermelons are part of the gourd family. Gourd family is a vine-like plant and it's native. It's a native fruit that's grown in, in Africa, of course. <laughs> As you can see, I love the companion planting. I have some lettuce. Um, what I have going on here, I have some mint because this helps keeps the flowers thriving, keep the watermelons growing, and they all complement each other. So I had that, that once again, that was a 20 inch uh, planter. Um, I only had about maybe six watermelons, sugar baby watermelons that, that uh, came out this spring. So maybe next year I'll probably double up. In my next planter, as you all can see, I have some cream of corn, peaches cream of corn. I love the way corn grows. I'm not really a big fan of eating corn, but I just love the way it, it, it grows. It looks like a like a little skinny scarecrow. As you can see here, you all, I have some mini pumpkins. I'm hoping they take off. I was looking to have them ready times for the um, upcoming Halloween season, but I think right now since the weather is getting a little bit cooler and the bees definitely just pollinated You know, they've been doing their thing this year with the pollination of the, the sunflower seeds. So let's see how well my um, Mini pumpkins do well Hopefully they'll do well as you can see I have a sunflower plant as it's looking a little unkept that's because the bees were able to as you can see, I have a sunflower plant that has definitely was uh, instrumental in helping the pumpkins as well as the watermelons. And also, of course, the help of the bees who actually love sunflower seeds, sunflower plants, I'm sorry. So that one you might see looks a little raggedy, unkept, <laughs> but I definitely will be replacing it with some fresh sunflower plants that I have just to keep the pollination stage going and helping with the bees too. I have so many bees, honey bees coming through uh, the garden. They're just very pleasant. Bees won't attack you unless you are definitely playing your course in the garden. Everyone pretty, pretty much plays their role. So I like to keep a few sunflower plants around. Of course, a few of my neighbors have them too. So the bees have been loving it this past uh, spring and summer. So we got the cream style corn going there. I'm definitely, don't worry guys, I'm gonna be getting those out this week because they are ready. Up next is a little, little flower plant area I have. I have an abundance of just some begonias that were doing well, but uh, and you have a citronella plants in the back. Uh, we have a different types of just your average type of 
flowers that you all can get from your local uh, nursery. And um, I got some type of this new grass that I have, but I put it into a planter. I definitely wanted to put it in a little planter because I didn't want it to thrive. So we'll see what happens if it comes through this coming uh, fall season. Next, I have like a little mini planter set. I think it was so adorable. I purchased this from an online store. So it has like one, two, three, four little mini planters. I have a different, I have an abundance of different flowers growing there. Also, I have some cotton grass coming up but I'm just hoping that it'll do well also I have my little pond I know you guys are asking where's the fish there's no fish guys this year because I have a cat named snow and snow loves to go fishing so maybe next year I might get some koi um, fish but I have to definitely be able to make sure that my cat doesn't go fishing but you know it's definitely just a pleasant little little uh, pond that we had for many 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 years and I just like to see it and, and it's so tranquil over here to our other side of the garden in the yard space of course you have an abundance of different hostas I love hostas I always say this is definitely a plant for anyone who doesn't really have a strong green thumb but is looking to get into a plant start you off with some hostas they're definitely they'll keep growing less maintenance now up next this is one of my winners, you all. I have been loving this Hollywood hibiscus social butterfly. This is for definitely for people who love to take a lot of pictures and want to have a beautiful flower arrangement or flower just going, you know, as your backdrop. And um, it's definitely been doing so well this spring and summer months. And I definitely will be taking it in once it gets really, really cold. Like I said, I'm in zone 7B, so I will not be keeping that flower out throughout the the uh the colder months because i want to make sure it, it comes back next year in the back in this little planter i have a mandevilla plant that's been doing very very well it's i think it's going to be it's setting back now so i bought that from one of my stores i think at wedgman's believe it or not i noticed that this plant has been popping up i've never seen it here or in the northeast area until this coming um, this spring season so I noticed that when certain uh, plants they want to kind of promote in certain areas they start bringing them out so I said let me try this uh, mandevilla plant and it was such a pleasant not too uh, very low maintenance so I definitely recommend it for some people who like I said that has maybe a large garden yard area or maybe a small intimate space definitely look into that plant if you can't get it for this year because the season is winding down look at it for the next upcoming spring 2022 um, garden year okay next I have here is a eggplant I definitely was not expecting this eggplant to grow and it actually grow within a short period of time believe it or not you all so uh, this is I believe a Japanese type of eggplant um, I only had one plant and look how well it did look how big that plant is but you know what's also interesting you guys let me know in the comment section down below doesn't it kind of look like a similarity of a um, paradise plant some people love those plants so it, it, the gardens of paradise plant with the leaves this is my own take you might think differently but that's why i looked at it and it's such a lovely like the just the greenery of it yeah it's called like itchy fan i think a japanese eggplant i've never had that type um grown before but it's, it's definitely taken off in the back as you all see i have my lemon boy tomato plant last year they came up so good but i must be honest you all i did plant these very late in the season so I'm not sure but like I said I'm in zone 7b so they might I might be able to get something maybe around November or December because they do grow up until like you know before it gets um, uh, frost here um, in the Northeast area once again that is my lemon Meyer lemon plant it takes about, they said about five years to have a lemon plant reach maturity. So it's in their second year, but the, the, it's been so beautiful. Like as, as I've been using the fertilizer, I actually use, um, coffee grinds for my lemon plant. So, but I definitely won't get any fruit until maybe in three years from now. Up next, I have an abundance of herbs here. I have some chives. 
Um, I have some sage, rosemary, some scallions. What's going on here? I also have some kale and spinach, little collaboration planter there growing. In the back, I have some herbs. I have um, here, it's a little, little growing bag of collard greens. They've been growing a little bit slow. I'm not sure I'm gonna be a success with that little growing bag for collard greens, but here, here's my little medium planter of collard greens with a mixture of mint. You know, you all, like I said, I'm a big companion planter fan, so I wanna make sure that, like you see a little ant there, that they don't eat up all my crops. Right here, that's a sweet potato. I'm trying to test it in this little planter to see how well that does. Um, some sweet potatoes, a little small area. And right next to that in the back is um, some cherry tomatoes. Right here, as you guys, I'm sorry, the shot is not that great. That is some Trinidadian scorpion hot peppers. Now that, those peppers, please don't play with those. They are the real deal. A lot of people in the Caribbean, they love to um, add that type of pepper to their Caribbean dishes. I definitely will be doing something for the upcoming Labor Day season for a dish that a lot of people from the islands they love to create. But I definitely, I don't even like peppers like that, but I love to grow them and just eat them very mildly if I can, especially when I incorporate them in the dish. As you can also see guys, there's some basil and some rosemary thriving. And uh, I got some peppers in the back, actually. They are my, um, the regular peppers, sweet, sweet, sweet bell peppers. They are still coming along, not yet reached to maturity. And um, I'm hoping to get those maybe in the next few weeks or so. Now coming down here is some jalapeno peppers. I had a few neighbors that I definitely was telling them I will be giving them some. It's cool. And I also have some cow horn peppers. Um, definitely, I can't eat a lot of hot peppers, guys, but I love to grow them and just give them to others who can enjoy them. Some Thai hot peppers as well. And of course, in the back, you see some kale and spinach that, you know, they did okay this year. But the jalapeno peppers definitely took off. Definitely for my cat Snow, you know, he loves his... Um, his cat grass, so as you can see, that cat grass is winding down. It's done for the season. I also have some catnip coming right behind it. And um, definitely, I would recommend anyone looking to start, you know, anything for beginner gardeners, try one or two of these different types of vegetables in your garden. Like I said, you don't have to have a big space to grow anything as long as you have some sunlight four to six hours of sunlight you can either take a growing bag or a small container or a small planter and have you some fertilizer and of course some, get some h2o to make sure that you feed your veggie families and um, you definitely will be happy um, it's also a good way if you want to grow flowers or any type of crops um, it's just serene and it's really, 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 really cool. Also here, you guys, I also have another little mini planter of some Country Creek Southern collard greens. They're kind of coming, they're, they're taking their time. I just had some extra seeds that I put down, maybe in, I think in uh, mid-June. Of course, I have a holiday plant um, that I have to get down in the basement so it can bloom for the, uh, for the holiday season. Right here in this small herb area, I have some Cuban oregano. I saw this at my local nursery and I kept saying, what type of plant is this? And uh, it's definitely a fragrant herb. It smells so good. I'm, I'm quite sure it probably tastes tremendous and anyone who we know likes to make you know a variety of different Cuban uh, cuisine so um, I definitely recommend that in addition I also have some sage and some rosemary in the back so I'm hoping that this tour wasn't too overwhelming for you guys but like I said just take one or two plants and and maybe you start in your garden and it depends on which zone you live across the nation try something and I definitely feel you will have success also you all I um, had a privacy screen installed uh, this actually past March courtesy of Wayfair of course they were able to have their team come out and install a privacy screen next door because some of us who live on the East Coast we have homes that are 
on the side of each other. So I want to create more of a intimate space in my garden and in yard area. For some of you all who may want to have some type of um, insight, you know, how to create a privacy screen. I hope you guys enjoyed my tour for um, the September garden tour. Um, hope to see you guys in, in the next video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Let's connect. Don't forget to follow me also on IG, Instagram at Emerge Garden Estate. And just say hello. Let's connect. For now, you all be safe, be well. Take care. Bye.